Vet against BDC. V chain was sub sunny lose so far. V chain against BDC. Bad, bad, bad. We are still in a downtrend, right? You can see that we're in some sort of a foreign channel, and we are still within the confines of the channel. Any clear signs of a bullish reversal yet? No. Are things still bearish? Yes. So we respect the trend. Uh, we're still in a bull, uh, bearish trend. Uh, even when we are rallying, can you see the rally? This is such a weak rally, right? It's like such a weak rally, palm. Such a weak rally, palm. Yes. Or are we going to rally all the way to the skinny pink line before we see a pump lower or are we just going to continue lower we're not too sure but the point is the we are in a downtrend so yeah it's not really looking that good uh, if anything you know you, you got to be patient and you got to wait for a bullish reversal chart pattern to come in first before doing anything right double bottom out double bottom out uh, something like a yeah, no, this, this isn't that clear. Something like an inverse head and shoulders, but not really that clear. But still, you know, you want to see things start rounding up, right? Rounding up. This is <laughs> this is rounding down, right? Rounding down, rounding down, rounding down. Yeah, so it's, it's still not really looking that good. Eventually, hopefully, but not at this point of time. Until we see it, we will remain bias bearish for VeChain. VeChain USDT. Yeah, but USDT, uh, yeah, this is also some sort of a uh, weak rally. Yeah, hey, we were saying last week that potentially we could take out the highs over here and we could see some sort of a rally and the rally did come. Woo! We were talking about it last week. So yeah, you can verify uh, the previous video, what we said. Right, uh, we're heading towards the resistance line, right? So there's a very, very uh, big, um, you were saying we will take out the uh, stop sells over here and we did take out the stop sells. Uh, right, we are rally to rallying towards the uh, resistance line. That was a very nice descending triangle, right? Mountain one, mountain two, mountain three. We broke the support. Right now, we are rallying towards the resistance. Support once broken becomes resistance. We're, ra we're rallying towards the resistance. I have a strange feeling we'll get pulled all the way back down and we will drop even lower for VeChain against USDT. I don't think. This is the bottom. I mean, of course, we could just rally all the way up, get an inverse head and shoulders, and break higher, right? This would be great. But as it stands, this is a weak rally. I don't really like this rally because it's a weak rally, and we are heading towards resistance. So more likely than not, we should see, um, yeah, resistance. There should be some sort of a bounce here, in my opinion. We could slice through, uh, like uh, mana. Right, mana is one of the very few uh, rare gems that is already in a bullish trend that's already switched bullish but vchain has not switched bullish yet uh, vchain is still looking bearish to me so i am of the opinion that uh, vchain still has more downside to go does this mean that we're gonna you know bounce off of the resistance and continue all the way down no can we still slice through uh, resistance and head towards the skinny pink line of course but if that happens then this is going to be an extended descending triangle my guess is I mean, if things were to continue bearish, right? Uh, but if things were to be bullish, yeah, so like I was saying, we continue higher for um, VeChain against USDT. But as it stands, we're under the skinny pink line. The trend is still bearish, so we shall remain bias bearish for VeChain uh, against USDT until we see high quality tradable bullish reversal chart patterns or bearish continuation. We will put on a trade, but not until then. We will stay safe, we will stay on the sidelines, and we will wait for the opportunity to present itself.